Hi guys, my crew here. This is my video on one click pickpocketing the men of fight thugs. Thieving can be really annoying at the mid levels and this is a method to help the mid levels become a bit less annoying and much quicker. You can use crystal mask and light form on these men of fight thugs for up to 400k experience an hour which I'll cover in this video. So let's get into it. Starting the video off as always with some requirements. You need to do the light within quest so then you unlock the crystallized spell and the light form prayer. You need 88 magic for crystallized and 80 prayer for light form. You also need a minimum of 66 thieving. You need 65 to actually pickpocket the men of fight thugs and then 66 is a requirement for the curse of Arav quest which is a requirement for the light within. This means that if you're doing all the quests for the light within you should have 66 thieving which is the perfect amount really because then you can do men of fight thugs anyway. So now on to the setup. With this setup, this is a higher level setup, so you can downgrade some things, like you don't have to take the soul in the box, and maybe if you don't have the camouflage outfit, you can take the exoskeleton outfit instead. The only thing I definitely would advise getting beforehand is the RD Cape 3, especially if you're low thieving. The RD Cape 3 really does help with you not getting caught as much, and if you're a low thieving level, the less you get caught, the more XP you'll get, obviously. So in my inventory, I have the soul in a box from Nomad's Elegy, all it does is summon a distraction, so then it gives it less chance of you being caught. If you haven't done Nomad's Elegy and you don't have invention to make the soul in the box, don't worry, it's not super duper needed, it's just helpful. I take prayer renewals and prayer potions, and this will just keep light form up nice and easily. I take some sharks for when you get caught, you're going to need a bit of food. And then I take a large rune pouch. Inside my large rune pouch, I have body runes and soul runes. If you don't have a large rune pouch, you can just bring body runes and soul runes, but it takes up two inventory slots. So I thought I'd save an inventory slot by bringing the rune pouch. For the gear setup, I have a five finger discount aura, which stops me getting caught as much. You don't need this, but it is helpful. So if you have one, bring it. I have the master camouflage outfit. It's really, really awesome. But like I said, if you don't have it, exoskeleton will do. I take an illuminated god book, but a holy wrench or sign would work just as well. You want an RD cape three or four to stop yourself getting caught so much. And a lava battle staff for three earth and fire runes. When it comes to necklace and the ring and the quiver and stuff, that's all just prayer bonuses. So just use the thing that will give you the highest prayer bonus in those slots, just so you don't have to drink pots as much. And that's it for the setup, so let's get into the actual method. So to get to these Menafite Fugs, they're in Polnivich, and they are just south of the Shanty Pass. You can take a rug merchant straight there. You want to go in the house that I'm in. If there isn't a Menafite Fug already there, you can just right click one outside and lure him inside and close the curtain so then they stay in there. Right, so this is where it gets a little bit weird and we want to change our settings a bit. If we go into our settings and we go to gameplay settings, we want to tick on one button gameplay. This then makes it so we never have to right click and we can just either spam left click or use mouse keys to spam click as well. This means that we can just use one button to constantly pickpocket the Menafite Fug in the way we're about to do it. Once you've done that, you want to go into edit mode. When you're in edit mode, you want to tick on 3D world editing. This will allow you to move the actual screen that you're playing on. Right at the top, there should be a little bit where you can drag. If you drag your screen as low as it can go, it will make it super squished and really, really compact at the bottom. This is what we want so we can get it in a good spot to one click. I would advise saving your previous preset and this preset so you can just switch between the two. So if you unlock your interface, you can just move your stuff out the way so it's all clear. I like to keep my action bar just above where I'm clicking just so I can see my HP and my prayer and all of that good stuff. So as you can see, I saved this as my custom slot 3, and my custom slot 1 had my normal interface on it. So if I load up custom slot 1, it goes back to normal, and then if I select custom slot 3, it goes like this, and it makes it super easy if you want to come back here, or if you want to switch back at any point. All you got to do now is make sure you're fully zoomed in, move your camera, click on the Menafite Fug to see where your mouse is, and then you can move your camera to get in the correct spot so that when you left click, it's on pickpocket. When you left click and it's on pickpocket, you can just keep clicking in that exact same spot and just pickpocket him over and over again. Crystal Mask and Light Form will reduce the chance of you getting stunned dramatically and so will RD Cape 3. This is just such a nice one click method of doing this and it eases the pain of these levels. You can just spam click in the same spot and watch a movie or something like that. When it comes to experience, level 66 to 75 you can expect around 200k XP an hour. Level 75 to 80 you can expect around 275,000 experience an hour. Levels 80 to 85 is around 325,000 experience an hour. 
And when your level's 85 or over, you can get up to 400k experience an hour. Although when you're 86, I would advise boosting with an Abyssal Lurker to Dwarf Traders. Although you could do this all the way to 90 if you wanted to. The last thing I want to mention in this guide, if you're using Windows 10, if you just search mouse keys, you'll be able to get the mouse key settings up. I'm not 100% sure how you do this on Windows 7, but I know Windows 10 has it built in. Once you open up your mouse key settings, you can just turn them on. Once you turn them on, it's default set to left click as 5 on your numpad. So if you don't like spam clicking over and over again and it's uncomfortable for your hand, you can then just spam click 5 on your numpad doing exactly the same thing. It would just be getting your mouse in the right position and then you don't even have to touch your mouse, you just spam 5 on your numpad. This just replaces your left click and binds it to 5 on the numpad instead of left click. So it's still just a one to one action and it's perfectly fine, it's just a bit more AFK and normally a bit more comfortable for people to do. So if you'd rather spam 5 on your numpad than spam click, then you can always toggle on mouse keys and do it that way. That's it for this video, I hope you did enjoy it, give it a like if you did enjoy it, subscribe if you're new for tons of future content, all related to RuneScape 3. The Discord and the Twitter will be linked in the description if you want to check out either of those. And until next time, see ya.